Hello and welcome everyone. I'm Dick. Let's continue our journeys. Episode 10, Wrong Temperature. It's so nice to hear from you, Emily. What's up? We're all here cheering for you. Anton and I got together with some friends to watch you. Best of luck. Thanks, I'm going to need it. Things here are getting very complicated. More complicated? I'm sure you're exaggerating. I found a list of the names of the next group to be eliminated. And something much worse, Boris is sexually harassing a participant. Okay, you were not exaggerating. What you say about the list is terrible. But that man is disgusting. You have to report him. I can't expose the participant if she doesn't want to. And I wouldn't know how to prove it either. He's very subtle about it. Yeah, you need more proof. I'll never give up. But I won't give up so easily. You go girl, that's the spirit. I'll give my all to win this competition. And I'll find a way to stop Boris whatever it takes. Join forces with your colleague. Women have to stick together. I'm trying. Come on girl, you can't give up. We'll be cheering on you on from here. We love you. I'm glad you took my advice on what? I read your draft on the first chapter and I like it. You've got something there. Thank you Seth, but I must ask Katie for permission. I can't keep writing without it. I don't have I don't want to have a problem with her. Okay, but I need an answer by tomorrow. I'll wait till she gets back from Italy to talk. I don't want to bother her today. It's elimination day. You know best, Adam. Welcome to the second round of the Best Chef Awards, live from Tuscany. Before we begin, I would like I would like to give special thanks to our judges. Right now, something smells funny here. Thank you for ensuring the transparency of this competition. For your level of excellence and for making sure the rules are absolutely clear. Why is it taking the time today to say this? It's strange that he would do this after what happened with Belmont. Yes, it's like he's getting ahead of something. Now, let's see our 16 participants. In honor of this beautiful Italian land, the dish will be stuffed pasta. And for extra points, your choice of antipasto. Chefs of the world, start cooking! Hmm, fresh rosemary, where is it? How are you feeling? I feel so confident, I know exactly what I have to do. And it's all thanks to you. I'm going to make the antipasto for the extra points. What about you? I will try as well. If there's anything more masculine in the world, it's Italian cuisine. It's the perfect round for you to say goodbye to this competition because of your list. Don't let him distract you. That's what he wants. What are those two arguing about? Yeah, I'm gonna get close to find out. You like eavesdropping, right? I heard what you said to Katie. Let the judges decide who stays and who's leaving. I didn't know the girls had so many willing to defend them. What I meant was the judges should be fair in their assessment. So only the best advance to the next round. So what's the list for, Belmont? Thanks for standing up to Belmont like that. You were great. 
And apparently I'm not the only one who like your attitude. What do you mean? When you defend one of us, you defend all of us. Thank you. You are amazing. That's odd. The oven temperature is all wrong. So much confidence here. I'm making a salmon and her filling. And to go with it, a smoked eggplant anti-peso. Congratulations, Macy. It looks delicious. Attention, please. The clock is ticking. Only 10 minutes left. It's plenty of time. The antipasto is coming along nicely. But I have to solve the issue with the oven. How's it going, Katie? It's bad. Something's wrong with my oven. You want to use mine? I'm done cooking everything. Yes, thanks. And time is flying. You have five minutes to finish your dishes. The judges are about to give their verdict. Who's going to win tonight? Who's going to say goodbye to the competition? Everyone has presented their dishes. Now it's Katie's turn. Tell us what you cook. I made some round ravioli stuff with corn and chard. And an antipasto with a variety of tomatoes. I see you've used a lot of regional products. You've cooked like a real Italian. The time has come. Let's see who's been eliminated. Three of the names are from the list that I saw. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. The winner of round two and the chef receiving a cash prize of $10,000 is... Katie again! How do you like that, Belmon? Twice in a row. Congratulations, Katie! Here's to many more wins! Attention, please! There's been a violation of the rules! Katie used Ubaldi's oven! She must be disqualified! I'm gonna defend myself. My oven doesn't work properly. My oven wasn't working. What did you expect me to do? I just finished my dish there. I barely used it. What a show. Everyone settle down, please. The judges have made their decision. There's nothing more we can do today. But you'll be penalized at the next elimination. What? Why? What you did is against the rules. You'll start the next challenge with 20 points less. This happened with George once. I can't believe Boris did that to me in front of everyone. Social media is exploding with messages accusing me of cheating. Easy, let's stay calm. The rules say you can't use another chef materials and equipment. You knew this and you suggested anyway? But it also guarantees their proper functioning. You're right, I hadn't thought of that. You have to report the incident. Yes, of course, I'll show them the problem with the oven. Hopefully it's still there. I'll talk to Boris right now. I need to talk to you. I think the rules are very clear and... I demand that you check my oven and see that it was defective. The rules said I have the right to do that. Accept the consequences, Katie. That oven was just a calibrated as the rest. I'm the one who used it and I can assure you it was not. Either you do something right now or I'll call the press and tell them all about it. And you won't like that, Boris. Before we go any further, there's something I need to tell the audience. We check Katie's oven and yes, it was defective. We withdraw the penalty and offer the participant our most sincere apologies. Thank you, Boris. I accept your apologies. I'm so sorry that someone like Belmont had to make these accusations. 
But no one can stop me. I'll do my best to win this competition fairly. And so this is the end of the Best Chef Awards Tuscany. See you in the city of Tango and Wine for the next round. Buenos Aires, here we come. You think this is enough for me? You completely damaged my image. I demand that you talk to the press. If that's what you want, this is personal with you, with Belmont and with the competition. Don't confuse things, Katie. Belmont has nothing to do with me or the competition. You better be right, Boris. I'm gonna prove that, Boris. And how do you feel about what happened, love? Now that Boris has rejected Belmont's complaint, much better. Besides, he made it clear that I acted in good faith. You know how you have my support no matter what. I believe in you and your talent completely. Thanks, but having talent is not enough. I'm more convinced than ever. Belmont wants me out of the competition. And I don't know if he has Boris or anyone else on, on it. Why are you so sure? Did anything else happen? I found a list of names in Boris' room. All participants who were eliminated today and me. Well, when you get back to New York, I'll make you forget about that competition. And we'll make those emails that we exchange come true. I can't wait to go home and be with you, love. Just in time, I just finished the press release. I clarified every detail. There will be no stain on your image. Good, it's the right thing to do. You slandered me in public and now you give me interviews to the press? You want to keep tarnishing my name, huh? Not everything is about you, dear. I'm going to publish a cookbook with Seth. You? You didn't know? How strange. I was sure your boyfriend had told you. He's aware of everything. Seth didn't even tell him. What? Thank you everyone for watching, have a wonderful day, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and see you guys on our next journeys.